Coming up on Look Today, well, Saratoga Economic Development Corporation has revealed a new project, big one. I've got details. Plus, residents and elected officials in Hudson Falls are concerned about a proposed syringe exchange program. I've got some of those details. And the Hyde Collection in Glens Falls is gearing up for an art crawl that's happening tomorrow. Got those details all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. On tonight's program, I sit down with Nancy Bambara. She's Vice President of DZ Restaurants in Saratoga. We're joined by John Carr. He's the owner of Adirondack Pub and Brewery. And they're here, they're gonna talk about Governor Cuomo's recommendation to eliminate the minimum wage tip credit for the service industry. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, Saratoga Economic Development Corporation has revealed a new project. Now, the project's called Synergy Tech Park. Now, the park is an estimated 180 acres to be located right off exit 10 in Clifton Park. Now, the initial phase of development is expected to start in March. Now, we spoke to Dennis Brobston. He's the president of the Saratoga Economic Development Corporation about the types of jobs that will be created at this new park. These kind of jobs that will be created, uh, tech jobs, professional jobs, manufacturing jobs, all the kinds that we're targeting, advanced material, there's R&D. The, the type of zoning that's there will, will allow for advanced material, semiconductor, um, software companies, all the different things that we see now uh, Clifton Park is looking for that type of, of attraction when it thinks about its properties. Good news. Congratulations, Dennis, and everyone at SEDC. Now the news. Well, the High Collection, Glens Falls, is gearing up for an art crawl, literally, that's happening tomorrow. Now the art crawl will expose young children to some of the art in the new Fibus and Schmidt Gallery Room. Now we spoke to Carrie Dudek. She's the assistant educator for the High Collection. So actually our new Fibus and Schmidt Gallery with Modern Contemporary Art has a lot of really great pieces for, um, for infants and babies. With their uh, visual um, development, mm -hmm. they're more attracted to high contrast, bright colors, and that's what you're going to find in Modern Contemporary Art. Looks like we got the first art crawler there. <laughs> Switching from news to weather. Well, you can expect partly overcast skies tomorrow. I don't know about you, but there was just enough cloud cover last night to ruin the full moon, although it did peak out after, uh, I don't know, it was like 9 or 10 o'clock or so. All right, so let's see how the rest of the week and the weekend is shaping up. For a more detailed look at our weather, let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Thank you, Jesse. I'm meteorologist Clarence Plosser with your first look weather update here on Look TV. In the national forecast, we'll see a cold front advancing from the Midwest into portions of New England. Also, that same front advancing into the deep south, high pressure over the Florida Peninsula, and we also have an area of low pressure along the Arctic Dex region. But this cold front that's advancing into New England, it's going to drop these temps into the teens for many spots, 19 in New York City, 17 in Albany, 15 in Burlington, and 13 in Bangor, Maine. Mainly in the mid to upper teens across the Capital District from Fort Edward to 17 to Whitehall to 17. Glens Falls will be a 17 as well, and then towards Johnsburg and Parsville, lower teens are expected. So make sure you have the heavy coats and be prepared for some scattered rain to snow showers. About an inch or so accumulation, followed by partly sunny skies. Lower to mid 20s on your Friday. Northwest wind at 15 or so miles per hour. Will we get six more weeks of winter? That's what the groundhog may say with 18 to 22 degrees as you walk out the door with northwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour and wind chills are going to be likely in the single digits. In the extended forecast, we'll see mostly cloudy skies on Saturday with a high temp of 23 and make sure you really bundle up overnight low too. Sunday, a little bit worse conditions with 70% chance of snow, but we will be slightly above freezing, 34 degrees, followed by a little bit of colder weather, but not too bad. Upper 20s to lower 30s, partly sunny Monday, mostly cloudy Tuesday, and overnight lows 21 Monday morning, 6 as you wake up Tuesday. That was your weather update here on Look TV, your first look weather update. I'm meteorologist Clarence Ponser. Now I send you back to you, Jesse. Thanks very much, Clarence. All right, back to the news. The first syringe exchange program 
is being proposed in Hudson Falls. Now, elected officials and residents in the area are upset and will be attending a meeting tonight to discuss this issue in more detail. Now, the needle exchange program would allow drug users to swap dirty needles for clean ones. Now, this is a program that's been very successful, especially in parts of Europe. Now, those who are protesting the program are upset at the proposed location. The earmarked location is on Main Street, right across from Junket Park in downtown Hutts Falls. Now, the original proposal, by the way, was to have the location at Glens Falls Hospital. Well, residents are concerned that there's not enough transparency in the decision-making process. Now, we're in contact with Washington County Sheriff Jeff Murphy. We are attending the meeting tonight, and we will have more on this tomorrow. Coming up, I sit down with Nancy Bambera. She's Vice President of DZ Restaurants in uh, Saratoga. And we're joined by John Carr. He's the owner of the Adirondack Pub and Brewery. And they're here to talk about Governor Cuomo's recommendation that we eliminate the minimum wage tip credit for the service industry. Hot topic. But first, if you've seen this happening, you want to share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? Then give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. That's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. A couple of lookouts. Uh, you probably noticed, even in the script, we were talking about it uh, in the control room. We're so used to having two interviews per program, it was throwing us even in the, uh, in the script. Uh, the reason is twofold, really. The, uh, we had to break the interview about Governor Cuomo's recommendation into two parts. We wanted to run that. But more importantly, I had received a phone message from the person who was going to be here for the second interview, a frequent guest here, Cheryl H. Perez, who's the executive director of Saratoga Veterans Community Housing Coalition. And uh, Cheryl, uh, we hope things are going okay for you. She called and said that she had to take her mom to the hospital. We'll uh, find out more about that tomorrow. But best of luck, Cheryl, to you and your mom and your whole family. All right, tonight on Look TV, it's sold. That's our call-in auction program, Great Estate Jewelry and Coins. And Roger there has got quite a following. You want to check this out. Plus, you can check in with us tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone.